Des yeux qui font baisser les miens Un rire qui se perd sur sa bouche Voilà le portrait sans retouche De l'homme auquel j'appartiens Quand il me prend dans ses bras Qu'il me parle tout bas Je vois la vie en... So today I will be talking about how attempts by the French government to limit the use of English in the public domain has had an impact on the acquisition of English as a second language in France. I will be looking specifically at a key piece of legislation called the Loi Tobon and how this law has had an effect on the relatively low level of English proficiency in France compared to many other European nations. So the two questions is, firstly, what is France's language policy? And here we have the Loi Tobon in particular. And two, what are the effects and consequences of France's language policy on English acquisition and proficiency? So to begin, let's have a look at the La Loi Tobon. Uh, the usage of French in the public domain was uh, enforced by the Loi Basse Loriol, of 1975 and it was through this law that um, it was established that French must be used in commerce, in public places, in the media and in public service. But uh, while there's a much longer and larger story um, to this law, the bottom line is that it was largely redundant. Um, skip a few years later uh, to 1999 and this was replaced by a much more elaborate Loi Tobon, which was named after the then Minister of Culture and Francophonie, Jacques Tobon, who once stated that the use of a foreign language is not always innocent and it can become an instrument of domination. So under the Loi Tobon, it is recognized that uh, French is the only official national administrative and daily language of the French Republic as it is stated in Article 2 of the Constitution. It was promulgated to protect the French linguistic heritage with three main objectives. Firstly, the enrichment of the language. Secondly, the obligation to use the French language. And third, advocacy of French as the language of the Republic. So what are the features of the Loi Tobon? Firstly, French in the Republic is used as a national business language. Secondly, um, French usage is obligatory in the public domain, and this includes all advertising, media, news, radio, and other colloquia. Even today, advertising slogans which are not in French need to be accompanied by a translation into French. Uh, then, interestingly, there have been some restrictions on the use of foreign terms in the French language. So, uh, this is affectionately referred to as franglais, and franglais is a form of French using many words and idioms borrowed from English. The French state still puts a lot of effort in trying to offer French alternatives to common English words and phrases. Now, the problem with these French alternatives is that they are basically just direct translations um, and they're not as interesting to use as the Franglais original. Uh, so despite the government's efforts in this area, they haven't really been successful in removing Franglais terms. Then interestingly um, and importantly, an area that Loi Tobon has had an effect in um, the French public life is a 40% quota on the number of French songs to be played on French radio stations and on um, and the fact that English TV and films are dubbed in French. Oui, ça. Ah, 
So moving on, let's have a look at the consequences of France's language policy on English acquisition and proficiency. Um, Attempts by the French government to limit the use of English in the public domain raises the question whether these attempts have an impact on the learning of English as a second language in France. Surprisingly, all of the foreign and regional languages available in French schools today, English is by far the most popular. So, despite the fact that children start English classes at school from the age of seven, it should be assumed that this should increase the speaker's general proficiency. But the contrary appears to be the case. And this is according to a study by Education First, which used the English proficiency index to rank 80 countries and territories by adult English proficiency. According to this report, France is currently ranked at 32nd place. Where is France? Here, 32nd place. And by way of example, or by way of comparison rather, the Netherlands is in first place, Germany in ninth, Belgium in twelfth, and Spain in twenty eighth. Even countries such as Romania, Hungary, and Slovakia have surpassed France in their language capabilities. France has substantially weak English skills compared to its European counterparts. And this is interesting, especially given their status in important international institutions, such as the UN, the World Bank, the WHO, and so on. In another study in 2012 by the European Commission, there was a report that published the results of foreign language tests given to 15-year-olds in 12 European countries. They found that French teens had weaker results than students of any other country tested. This was despite the fact that these children, uh, these children had started studying English at the age of seven, but over 70% of them were at a beginner or pre-beginner level, which is A1 or pre-A1 level, by the time they were teens. Why is this happening? The everyday environment has more influence on progress at this level than the classroom learning does. French students report lower levels of exposure to English in everyday life than any other Europeans polled. When polled by the European Commission, French students reported little or no exposure to TV, movies, newspaper, magazines, and web content in English. The Loi Tobon has effectively kept the usage of English in the public domain reduced to a bare minimum. The fact that there are very little opportunities to speak English in practice, in addition to little exposure to English in the public domain, provides a possible explanation for the relatively low level of English proficiency in France.